Good evening, and welcome to your nightly Real Fake News. I am your host, Chris Hunt. Tonight's story shows us the consequences of what happened when college students already suffering from debt face a massive resource crisis. The College of New Jersey is in a crisis, is what many students, faculty, and anyone else with eyes is saying. Earlier in the fall semester of 2019, a crisis that found the college's water supply suffering from high concentrations of lead left students deprived of basic needs. TCNJ officials warned students against consuming tap water, advised them to boil any water before usage. Although the recent water crisis at TCNJ has subsided, for now, its effects are still unknown. Many students are questioned why they are still even enrolled at this sinking ship of a school. In a recent poll of TCNJ students by the Real Fake News on ground investigation team, it was found that out of 1,000 students, 47.6% are considering transferring to another college or university. One student said, quote, if I am given a choice between getting lead poisoning or going to Ryder, I think I'll take my chances at Ryder. In addition to water, TCNJ now faces an energy conundrum. On the morning of November 11th, many students woke up to find that there was no power. Additionally, many unknowledgeable students believed that they were forced to start their week without even a shower. At 2.41 p.m., Assistant Vice President for Communications, David Muha, notified the student body that all classes would be canceled after 3.30 p.m. until further notice while the administration would be making repairs to the electrical grid. TCNJ students were also encouraged to go home or stay with a friend, the same way the police encouraged me to stop resisting after my DUI. Some students were only given an hour notice to evacuate their housing areas. The reason for the power outage is still unknown, but students suspect a possible conspiracy to deconstruct the towers Wolf and Travers. <laughs> This just in. We have just been informed that we now have a student in the building who is one of the first victims of the power outage. Thank you for joining us, Jody. Thank you for having me. Now, Jody, did you find that the TCNJ administration encouraged you to leave, or did it kick you out like a 40 year old man who lives in his parents' basement and is finally being evicted? Absolutely the second one. First, TCNJ took away the power, then the water, and now my dignity. As a resident of Lycoff Hall, I personally feel attacked by the administration. Really? Okay. Um, due to your first-hand experience on this pressing issue, do you think that there was something more sinister behind the power outage? Or rather, is there a reason that all students from the campus got expelled? Well, I know for sure that the repairs TCNJ say it's doing are just a cover-up. Although many students believe that this is a plan to destroy the beloved antiquated Wolf and Travers Halls, this is not what's really happening. What the administration is really doing are, while the students are gone is digging up the buried treasure of Harold Eikhoff that's on campus. TCNJ is going to use this treasure to finance more Roscoe the Lions. Wake up, sheeple! Don't you realize that TCNJ is lying to us? A break in discovery right here on Real Fake News. You heard it here first. TCNJ is digging up buried treasures to build more stupid lying statues. Thank you for joining us, Jody. And we will be right back after these short messages. Are you a student? Are grades suffering? Do your parents still make fun of you for being a liberal arts major? Do you know what will fix it? More tuition money? Studying? Actually applying yourself? No, it's tendies. Chicken tenders have the magical power of making all your problems go away but big student government want to limit your tendy intake. Vote no on Proposition 99 and keep big student government out of your tendies. This message was brought to you by the Coalition of Students for Tendies. Hello, this is Jason Thorpe from Thorpe Sports and I'm here to tell you about some very important information on the recent rise of chicken tendy usage. College students are using chicken tendies to enhance their abilities more frequently. Do they really know the full consequences of chicken tendies? Chicken tendies have been clinically proven to make students less ambitious. Vote yes on Proposition 99 and stop students from wasting their lives. This message was brought to you by Celebrities Against Chicken Tendies. We're back with more breaking real fake news. Kyrgyzstan has declared war on Paraguay in an escalation from their ongoing maritime border dispute. We have political analysts Ferris and Maddie here with us to better understand the conflict. 
What do you have to say, Ferris? When looking at this issue and looking at this conflict, it's important to realize that this is just another proxy war between the United States and China. China has been supporting Paraguay since their independence in 1906 in the Latin American civil wars. What's most surprising, if you really ask me, is that Kyrgyzstan has gone against its historical ally of mm. China. I think it's the fundamentalist Scientology that's really changing the country's foreign policy initiatives. Right, okay. America sees this as an opportunity to make a statement to China that their Belt and Road Initiative is really only going to bring more maritime conflict. And what do you have to say, Maddie? I don't even know what we are talking about. How can Paraguay and Kyrgyzstan have a maritime dispute? They're both landlocked. Oh, you must be mistaken, my dear, silly, silly friend. You're probably thinking of Bolivia and Tajikistan. Chris, I thought you would have more intelligent and more cultured guests on your show. First of all, both those countries are also landlocked. Secondly, I'm not mixing up Paraguay and Kyrgyzstan with Bolivia and Tajikistan. And finally, I have a PhD in international studies and multiple honorary degrees. Can you even point to these countries on a map? Well, absolutely, it's obvious, isn't it? But we don't have a map right here. So what I can tell you is where they are. I'll just describe them to you. So obviously Bolivia and Paraguay are in South America, of course. Like I said, Latin America, uh, Civil Wars. And all the stand countries are pretty much the same. So uh, let's get back to the discussion. What are the consequences of the conflict? Literally, there are no consequences. Neither of them have ocean going warships, you know, because they're landlocked. So they literally cannot reach each other. Well, that's just not true. What about the implications? What do you mean implications? Why would you bring this guy on the show? He is clearly mentally disturbed. I, I, I've heard enough. Someone please escort Maddie off the stage. You can't do this to me. I got a PhD from the University of Phoenix. That's the wrap for another nightly broadcast of Real Fake News. We hope to see you again tomorrow. Good night.